Hello everybody. Yeah, my name is Conrad as a guide. Yeah, I brought you here today to the home of the Blue Bulls, which is uh, Loftus Fairfield. It's the main rugby stadium in Pretoria. So yeah, I'm gonna come and watch the Sharks uh, play against the Bulls today. I hope you enjoy it. Come and uh, show you what Loftus looks like. Welcome. We're gonna go now to Loftus Fairfield, which is uh, Pretoria's uh, main rugby stadium, also the home to the Blue Bulls rugby team. And so today there's a semi-final between the Bulls and the Sharks from Durban in the URC Championship. So I'm going to check the match at the Loftus Fairfield, which is just uh, here in front of me. Yeah, I'm going to have to see how close I can get to the stadium to park. The motorbike is much easier to find parking always. Yeah, here in front of us is Loftus Fairfield. Uh, there's uh, Loftus Park, which is a little shopping center just here. Uh, next to Loftus, where there's uh, ample parking and it's also too easy to park my motorcycle here and then I will go and look uh, to buy a ticket then we'll go into the stadium we have about uh, 30 minutes before the game starts Getting ready for the game. Got a big crowd coming today. Pretty good. Well, it's good that there's a lot of support. People queuing at the gate just to show the tickets. Yeah, from here on, we're going to enter the stadium. So on the east side of the stadium. People just getting ready to go inside. So yeah, from here on you're actually getting a very nice view of uh, this is what they call the beer garden. People drink before they come to the stadium. It's usually also uh, concerts. The stadium started when the need for grass playing fields started growing in the early 1920s in Pretoria. A concrete stand was started in 1923 and in 1932 the stadium was named after Robert Owen Loftus Fairfield, who was seen as the founder of organized sport in Pretoria. Loftus has a capacity of just over 50,000 for rugby union matches and are also occasionally used for soccer matches. The stadium has also been used in previous years to hold concerts for UB40, Robbie Williams and also Celine Dion. In the next video to come, I will be visiting the Voortrekker Monument on Heritage Day, also now known as our National Braai Day. I take a look at the history of the movement of the different peoples of South Africa at the Voortrekker Monument. Please continue watching. Hope you also get to learn something from my videos. Thank you for watching.
you could subscribe and press the thumbs up button if you like this video. See you next time.